Hello and welcome to Starhammer, the Vanguard Prophecy, a new space game coming from the folks at Slytherin and a bunch of other places. I just saw them passing the screen and now I forget because I have a terrible memory. This uh, game is coming in about a month, I think, to uh, Steam uh, and probably elsewhere. Um, it's a tactical kind of board gamey, spacey, combatty thing where you get a decent amount of control over your ships. It's almost like you almost have like a fighter level control over your ships because you manage power, you manage shields, but you also manage tactics and you manage weapon usage. So it kind of reminds me a little bit of Starfleet Command, but a more board gamey feel than that. And it's turn based. So I just played a, the first mission uh, twice through. First, uh, first time a couple days ago, and just now to get a feel for it. So we're going to continue the campaign for a little bit just to see some of what this game offers. Uh, in this preview video uh, and I'm kinda learning as I go as well the first mission was a fairly good tutorial but I'm sure there's more so uh, there's a story too you're the you're la you're an admiral's daughter and stuff is happening so let's oh, I just started the thing no okay that's good alright so this is the mission selection screen and eventually you'll be able to choose more missions from here right now we only have one so let's try it uh... eight days ago two two hours later from the last mission uh, um... yes the timeline is correct i'm just reading this soon after blah, 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 blah. so basically we're finding lieutenant Lou and escorting him oh escort stuff great uh, Let's do it. Oh, even more stuff. See, this wasn't in the last mission, so that's neat. So you get to prepare your fleet, uh, kind of a deployment thingy. So, and this is the tutorial stuff that pops up. You know, you can select your ships from there. And those are the unde undeployed points. So I can click and drag them over here, apparently. To remove a ship. Okay. Reinforcement queue. Alright. So, we can't use anymore. We've already used... What is this? Okay, so we have... So, I wonder if we could take out... Because we have this Corvette and two fighters. Oh, these are... Oh, these are they. Okay. Let's see. And then we can request... We can request ships to help us out. Uh, so there we go. So this ship will come in later uh, and give us a hand. And so... Yeah, these are all level one. As you can see, they level up right now. They've already got some experience. There's some stats. So now that we've got this all set, we're just going to hit proceed and be taken into the mission eight days ago. So the last mission was nine days ago. Now this mission is eight days ago. Oh, so there's three raiders. See? And that's the guy I guess we have to protect. So as you can see, we have flavor text that we can read. So we can watch it up here, or we can like kind of click through it down here, which is nice if you don't want to go through it. Now, as you see, there's lots of buttons, and this is kind of what I was talking about. You can change your energy uh, usage on these ships to uh, be more... Like, I want to intercept these ships, so I'm going to put more power to weapons and engines on all of these. So I have three ships here as you can see. You can have up to eight apparently and they'll all row down here and then you could all use the one, two, and three and there's four but we're controlling one, two, and three and then you can give them specific orders like the Corvette can launch missiles but the Raiders cannot. But you can also target auto, you can also target targeted fire, auto fire 
or hold fire. So you, so you have a lot of options. Uh, cancel. So it's on auto fire, so we'll just leave it at that for now. And uh, as you can see, this uh, arc here, this is where this ship can move in one turn based on the energy it has. And you could also turn on visible weapon arcs to see where it can fire. But you can also make it go up, you can make it go down. You know, so there is a 3D-ness involved that we really haven't, re I haven't really dealt with yet. Um, but we're going to do a little of this again. And so we did that, we did that, we did that. And we're going to do that a little bit. Okay. And then we could equalize our shields if we want to, you know, which is pretty nifty. Uh, but right now, all we have to do is get in weapons range of them. So what we're going to do is going to move these guys. See, I'm moving them as far forward toward the enemy as I can because I want to intercept them before they get to him. And there are also different views you could look at. Here's the map view. Overhead camera if you really want a board gamey thing. Side view so you can like look get right in there and look at your ships. You hear that? I like that sound that gets a that's kinda neat. It looks kinda like a board game piece when you look at it this way, doesn't it? I I, I like the sound. I like how it Yeah, I like that. Um, you have a fixed angle camera that you can't change nothing. And then your free camera which you can use the right mouse button to move around. Use the WASD keys. So there's lots of options. We are going to tell our guys to move as forward as they can to try and intercept those bad guys. And these are the only ships we can control. So I'm going to have this guy turn a little bit toward toward our friend over there, just in case. And now, now that we've selected... Oh, hang on. I forgot about this in the last mission. We got missiles. So, got one, got, got two missiles that we can fire in a salvo. So I'm shooting one missile at each of them to slow them down. Now, I guess I could shoot two. Huh. I guess. I wonder if I could turn that off. I wonder if I can remove the missile thing. I guess I can't. Oh, I can. Alright. Alright. Uh, so, I also... This might be even... This might be a little more helpful, even. Uh, I also could target both my missiles against the guy who's closest to the enemy. I mean, closest to... The closest enemy to our Corvette here. And hopefully that will help. So, uh, and there's all kinds of overlays you can turn on and off, like the weapons arch. You can turn on, you can turn on the prediction so you can't see or can see the other ships, that sort of thing. You get all the ship info down here. It's pretty, pretty cool. I'm digging it. Uh, so once you're set, once you've um, chosen all your orders, you get to hit enter. Oh crap. That's what I was worried about. Are we not going to get to him in time? What? Brat? Wow, so I guess we couldn't have saved that guy. Yeah, just use the missiles, but thank you. Uh, Alright, so these guys are going this way, so we're going to have him move a little bit toward them. So to keep them in his weapon arc, he is going to, this guy is just going to move a little bit toward them. And this guy, the Corvette has a wide weapon arc, so I just have to turn him a little bit. And then you hit enter. And you watch it pan out. I guess it takes several turns for the missiles to reach their target. Oh! Looks like they missed. Now they're going on evasives. So, uh, did 
miss it tonight. Oh, I canceled the order, so I... Oh. Well, we want a little bit more there. And now, now that we don't have to intercept... I'm wondering if this takes away from their maneuverability, but we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna turn you got we're gonna turn you a little bit toward them. Uh, turn you a little bit toward them, and then we're gonna turn you a little more. Gonna slow you down and turn you toward them. Okay. Ah, the missiles missed. Well, they they did damage though. Okay. Now our guys are firing. Uh, okay, so this guy's 74% hull. So I could have these guys on auto fire, or I could have them t target a specific enemy. Which I'm going to do with that guy. He's just going to be on auto fire, and he's just going to be on auto fire. So uh, let's slow him down a little bit. And then let's uh, slow him down a little bit as well. Want to keep them in our firing arc. And let's go. Oh, sheesh. Okay, so this this guy's hull is at 64%. And these guys' hulls are just a bit damaged. So far, all three of our guys are okay. So now, now comes the fun part, because now it's going to be turn. So we're going to slow down and hopefully guess which way they're going to turn. So we're thinking these guys are going to go this way. I'm thinking. So we're going to slow him down and kind of have him go that way. And then we're going to slow him down. Where's this? Where's the thing? Ah, oh, there it is. Gonna slow you down. Gonna have you come around because I have a feeling he's gonna kind of get try and get behind us. So we're gonna have him do a full hard point turn. So let's watch. Oh, good. He kept with him. Through the, he kept with him. Oh, all right. Well, darn it. Got out of the firing arc there. That's okay. We'll uh, get back on that guy's butt, hopefully, by going right there. Uh and we're gonna see this guy has a couple of firing arcs but we gotta get him pointing in the right direction so since this guy's going this way we're gonna point him this way because he already has pretty wide uh, the ship already has a pretty wide th um, weapon arc and then we where's the other bad guy ah right over there so we're gonna have hopefully this ship be able to shoot that ship so let's watch. There we go. That works for me. Uh, all right. Now, let's see. One. So we're going to turn this way to try and get these guys back in our firing arc. And then we're going to turn this way to kind of keep the, keep these guys in our firing arc. Gonna take a tighter turn, slow it down a little bit, and then you are gonna turn this way and try and catch up with everybody. Uh, so let's hope that works out. Shields are doing okay, and um, shields are doing okay, 100% hull. Oh, front shields are not doing great. Uh, let's boost your shields a little bit. Alright, we're gonna boost we boosted the front shields a little bit. They took some damage. I don't want to use my missiles just yet. I know I could, but now that we're kinda of close up, I'm worried it might damage my own fighters. And I still don't know what's coming. So I'm gonna save my missiles. Oh, sheesh. Fast camera. Fast camera. Okay. Alright, so this raider has been pretty well damaged. Wow. Alright. So, interesting. 
What do I do here? Okay, so we're going to have this guy go after him. So hopefully he'll be staying this guy's weapon arc. This guy is going to stay on him. Uh, so wait. Hang on. Which is the one, which is the one we just turned? Uh, right. So this guy is going to turn a little bit this way. Oh. And not collide. There we go. That's cool. Uh, so we got this guy still kind of keeping this guy in the front there. Going to move him a little bit. Try to keep him in the firing arc. And then we got this fighter is going to go that way. Try and get him, get this guy in his firing arc. And this guy is going to try and get this guy in his firing arc. So let's see what happens. Okay, good. Oh, oh. We're getting hit a little bit, but we got we did hit him. Oh. Oh, 48. Oh, okay. Uh Damn. Uh Going to put you back on auto fire. Um So, we're going to try and move you over here but keep you going fast, not only to try and keep him in uh, the weapon arc, but also make him harder to hit him. We are going to have you turn real quick and try to get you in a firing arc right here. And then we're going to have you turn this way do a tight turn and try and get him in the firing arc. The neat thing is I have no idea what the enemy's going to do and they have no idea what I'm going to do. So something could happen, nothing could happen. Let's find out. How are our ships doing? 100% hull, full shields, 100% uh, hull, the front shield is better than it was last time, and 100% hull. Okay, so let's go. Oh, tight turn on the Corvette there. Didn't keep it in his, uh, didn't get to keep the Raider in his firing arc. That's okay. Now we're going to try and get this, we're going to try and get this fella over here. Uh, we're going to have this guy try and get this fella over here. Uh, and we're going to try again, and we're going to have our Corvette come around. I already gave you orders, so we're going to now have you come around and try and get this guy. So we got orders for all of them. Let's do it. Oh, good, 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 good. Excellent. Whittling him down. Very good. Now I get to turn again. Uh, I'm going to have this fellow over here try and intercept that guy. I'm going to have this fellow try and intercept come here, uh, that guy. And then I'm going to have you just do a little bit so you can keep that guy on your sights. Let's go. Let's hope that worked. It Oh, it did a little bit. Oh, wow. Check that out. Ooh, damn. Uh, wait, did we lose a raider? No, we didn't lose a raider, but they're all hurting. All right, so gonna kind of move you to kind of keep him in the firing arc. We're gonna turn just a little bit because we can keep him in his our rear firing arc by may, but maybe get this guy as he comes back around, maybe. And then this guy, oh, he's he's coming this way. Oh, yeah, we don't want to collide. So we're going to slow you down and hopefully catch him going this way. Hopefully. So everyone's got their orders. Let's slow him down a little bit. Try and catch this guy. Oh, but not collide with that guy. Oh, boy. Uh... Well, let's find out. Let's see what we can do here. 
Good, good, good. All right, excellent. So now, this guy, it, we don't have to do much here because this guy's going to fly right into our Corvette's firing arc. Uh, okay, our shields are doing okay, still at 100% hull. Uh, and so if we just move you a little bit, this radiator should stay in this radiator's flight path. One, two, and then we move you just a little bit. Just a little bit to shoot this guy. Oh, he's hurting. Look at that. He's on fire. Look at... Oh, sheesh. Can I... Okay, good. If you double-click, you can focus on him. You can move the camera around him. Yeah, he's on fire. Oh, I like that. Hear the, hear the way the sound changes? Can you hear that? That's pretty cool. All right. So everyone's got an order. Let's do it. Oh, nice. Nice. Very nice. Oh, oh, crap. Okay. How's this guy doing? Oh, his shields are fine, which is good. All right. Now time to do a tight turn and bring him back around so he can start hurting people again. Tight turn, tight turn. And then you got to turn you a little bit to try and get someone in your weapon arc. Maybe all three of them. And you, you're going to have to just, you're going to have to do a quick turn to try and get anyone in your weapon arc. But shields are okay. Let's do it. Tight turn. Tight turn. Boom. Boom. Good. 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 Oh, very nice. Very nice. So, two, she two raiders have already uh, gotten... Their hull's damaged. That's fabulous. Um, so let's see. We're going to focus on this wounded guy here and try and take him out. You're going to turn him just a little bit. Just a little bit to try and keep him in our firing range. And then we are going to, since he's kind of going straight, we're going to turn you a bit and hopefully catch him in this guy's firing arc. So let's see what happens. Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, oh, now he's got some hull damage as well. That's a beautiful thing. Um, our right shield is taking some damage, but he's facing left over here, so I'm not too worried about that. All right, so if you turn this way, hopefully you'll get these guys in your front arc and this guy in your rear arc, getting a little distance from him. So you're going that way. We want to keep you going that way. And then we want to keep you going that way to attack this guy. Yeah, all right. Oh, one raider down. One raider down, and this guy is almost gone. So I'm going to keep him on the on line, but slow him down a little bit. Uh, where are you going? We're going to have you come around and try and attack that guy. And then you are going to kind of come around and also try and attack that guy. Let's go. Oh, come on. His hull's at 5%. All right, so we're just going to have these two chase this fella while our friendly little Corvette here finishes uh, finishes this guy off. Let's do it. Very nice, very nice. Oh, really? Really, did nice little tight turn there, Mr. 3% Hall. Well, wow. that'll be the last time I underestimate you. Okay, well, we got to start turning you, so we're going to have you... We're going to have Lincoln 7. We're going to have you break. Yeah, we're not going to be able to hit anything this turn, really. Gonna have you break this way. And you break this way to try and get back on their flank. Let's do it. So, yeah, we're not going to really deal any damage this turn, which is a shame. Oh, we did deal a little damage. That's lovely. 
All right, so you try and attack that guy. And then you try and keep going after that guy. And then you, yeah, we're going to put you back, hopefully, on the right track. So you can attack both these guys. Oh, very nice. Yeah, there we go. Last raider. All right, so we're going to... Yeah, we're just going to have you go straight. Yeah. Gonna have you do a tight turn. And then we're going to have you also do a tight turn. Uh, yeah, let's see, he could go. So we're going to have you go there just to see what happens. Oh, 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 oh. Boom, boom. Damn, damn. Oh! Booyah! Muckrakers took us by surprise with an IED. Okay. What? I'm not sure what's happening. It looks like there's an... Uh... Okay. Proceed. Uh... New reinforcements. So this is the next mission, I take it. Return to Commander So-and-so. This is told in past tense, which is interesting. I like the word muck, apparently. Proceed. Do one more. Uh, we have no command points. So we can't even... Oh, yeah, we can't even call them in. That's a shame. Oh, all right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, ah, excellent. One kill for each of them, two for them. I uh, can't deploy them yet, which is a damn shame. Sorry, Bice, but Chris and Melinda are going to be busy. Second contact. Eliminate. What the? What are all those things? What the hell? Huh. Your math's worse than your tithing, but I'll take all the help I can get. I'm really confused. What? Kill... What are these? What are... What are... What are... What? Krill? What the hell are Krill? Oh, God. They look like... They look like space monsters. All right. Well, we need more shields. No, we need more... Uh, there we go. Two, one, two. Gonna put all power to weapons and shields. I think I had it wrong last time, actually. Uh, now, let's see. Gonna keep you all together. Keep you all together. So, let's put, oh, all right. Well, let's keep it slow then. Okay, let's see what happens. 
What the hell? What are those things? Uh, uh, we're gonna keep going straight to keep him in our uh, keep him in our firing arcs. We're gonna slow down a little bit so we don't. Oh boy. Um, should I use missiles? Let's see if I. Well, let's 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 see if that helps. Oh. Now apparently they're not all dead because I think we just killed a few. Okay, nothing from comms. So we have to kill all of those things? There's like a ton of them. Oh man. Okay, well, let's let's go to work. Let's go to work. Come here, guy. Oh, you gross. Apparently, they don't. They they don't live very long. These things. So, what I'm hoping is that they don't take much to kill. But they're coming for us. So let's slow down and make sure they're in our weapon arc. Okay, one down. Oh gosh. Oh my God. Whoa. Um. Let's keep firing on the ones in front of us, and then we'll deal with those. Oh, God. Uh, kill them all. Kill them all. I might have to use missiles at this point. Oh, jeez. Okay. How are we doing? Taking fire on the left. All right. Okay, let's try and take out these two. Healthy, injured, and then try and... Oh my god. Okay, those are down, I think, right? Okay, those are down. So now we have to deal with these guys. Okay, so one... Two... Oh jeez, really? Okay. Oh good, okay. And three. Right now one is pointing toward them. Is not pointing toward them. Okay. Alright, let's hope this works. Take them all out, so let's. Take them all out, guys. Oh, geez. This is really horrific. Um. Jeez, okay, that's what I need. Alright. Let's try and take out these guys on the front of us. Okay. How many other left? Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, gotta focus on. Oh, sheesh. Uh, 
Okay. Slightly injured. So that was a bunch behind us. Uh, the weapon... The yeah, okay. So we're going to move... Um, kind of feel like we should keep everyone together. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright, that one's dead. So now... good. Seems like the decision to put most power to sheet weapons and engines are doing a good is 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 helping me out so far. Yeah, I'm just hopefully gonna deal a little damage this turn, but not much. Okay, so let's uh yeah you keep going you keep doing what you're doing. You go that way and you bring weapons to bear Come on, come on, come on, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Navigation offline, why? What happened? What happened to you? Okay, so let's turn you toward these guys, because they're the last ones, aren't they? Yeah, these are the last ones. And then... Okay, there we go. I guess you guys' engine's back online. Oh, good. Okay, so we want to keep you doing what you're doing. Uh, slow you guys down. There we go. Okay. Damn, they're fast. Look at that thing. Everyone turn. Everyone turn again. Toward the krill. Take out the krill. Come into my weapon arc, Mr. Krill. Yes. Come into my weapon arcs. You're so pretty. I have to kill you because you're so pretty. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be like that one that just won't die, right? I'm get uh it's going to it's going to be that last one. You know what? Come back into our firing arc. Yes, come back. Oh, oh, you're smart. You are smart. You stayed out of my firing arc. How would you know what my firing arc was? Well, we are going to help you Get back in some firing arc action here by trying to put you in the rear firing arc of our Corvette and the front firing arc of our fighters. There we go. Love it. Yeah, that's that's more like it. Oh, whew. Awesome. The P 
pip on top of the worst day of the year? What's the pip on top? Oh, you are whiny. Real Finnegan aliens. Oh, whoops. Of the day we've had today, I'm not taking any chances. Why is all this empty space here? Well, beta, early access, war scale, aggressive. Not entirely sure what war scale is. I think that means the how the scales of the war are tipping. Uh, we didn't lose much in the way of shields. Got no hull damage. We, very nice. Oh, I see. Kills in this battle, 10. Kills 2. Kills 5. Oh, look at that. All right. The wor Oh, thank you. There it is. The worst scale is a representation of your influence and how the story unfolds. Focusing on firepower and reckless assaults will earn aggressive. War scale. Successfully completing mission objectives carefully and tactically will earn defensive war scale. Your war scale can determine which chapters become... Oh, interesting. So that can kind of change how the, how the game plays for you. I like that. So now we have a choice of two missions. That's pretty great. Uh, I don't know which one to take. But right now we're on the defensive. Oh, and look, it's... Uh, they give you bonuses, I guess. More reinforcement points, more ammunition supply, more XP for the ship captains. Very nice. So yeah, that is a quick look at a couple of missions in the early access, uh, pre-launch, uh, beta, whatever you want to call it, version of Star Hammer. Uh, I'm really digging it. I love the board game feel. It feels very tactical. I really like how the battles lay out. Like, you don't know what your enemy's going to do, so you have to guess. I love that. Uh, the interface is really fantastic. Only thing I wish is if there was a... Maybe there is, and I just haven't found it. A button where you can just quickly switch through ships. But one through eight works fine, too. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.